Hello, in this video, we're going to look at structured and how to package your cryptocurrency, specifically your Ether, into fixed income slash leverage positions, either long or short, as well as traditional 4x currency pairs in baskets. So in the last video, we took a look at a couple of the structures that we can see down here, which were the risk adverse return long Ether, which is 90% fixed income, about a 7% APR, completely on a decentralized platform. So there's no counterparty risk, no, you know, you're not worried about someone paying back their loans like you're, you are when you like invest with a bond, which has a, a lower yield. Uh, and which we do that through Fulcrum. And so all, most of everything was going through Fulcrum slash Uniswap last time. And we've added more Fulcrum, but we also have Compound.Finance, which is backed by Coinbase and a few others, as well as we've add, added support for USDC interest. So you can loan out USDC, uh, which gives about a 5% interest rate, whereas the DAI does about uh, 7 or 8. So while DAI performs better, you can actually diversify. So if one of the interest rates goes up, uh, you can get some of that upside. So you can diversify your fixed income with this new 8020, much more diversified than the other ones. Uh, and the reason we're making this video is kind of an updated tutorial because since we're not just using Fulcrum, we're using Compound, Fulcrum, as well as Synthetics. Um, Synthetics is this one over here. It's Basket at Forex. It's kind of modeled after the Libra project concept. So it's 42% USD, 32% Euro, 11% Swiss, uh, Swiss franc. Now, the reason it's 11% Swiss franc instead of 11% Chinese yuan is because Chinese yuan is not yet supported on synthetics. And again, synthetics is a fully decentralized platform. Uh, there is no counterparty risk, or there's very little counterparty risk. And all of the, you're not really, it's not like Tether where you're kind of depending on all of the assets to be held in a bank or in certain assets by someone. Uh, these are all backed by crypto and then pegged using oracles, et cetera, et cetera, um, and as well as kind of floating. So Synthetics is a really interesting platform. Uh, they're going to add stocks and other things pretty soon onto the onto the blockchain, which is pretty awesome. Structure doesn't hold any of the assets. So when you send funds into these smart contracts, we recommend that you review them. You can see the links down here at the bottom, uh, or we'll have a link. If we get more of these in, you can click on those links. So you can review all that, make sure everything is, is up to up to the level. These smart contracts that are available will always be available because smart contracts exist forever. So I'm gonna click on uh, create my package. So I'm gonna do a 4X currency pair, uh, or I'm gonna do a basket of them. So you, you make sure you have your your MetaMask hooked up. Now, Synthetics looks like this. This is what Synthetics typically looks like. Uh, if you go to synthetics.exchange, this is what you'll see. You'll see that I don't have any cents. If you click on your cents, it'll say I have nothing. And we're gonna fix that um, in one file swoop. So as opposed to going through here, clicking on markets, having to go find all of these and then figure out like a nice balance, etc. cetera. Um, this kind of just simplifies that whole process. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna click on create my package and then I'm gonna put the amount. So I'm gonna put 0 0.06 ether, click convert. My MetaMask will pop up. If it doesn't pop up, it'll be right over here. Just click that one or, or whatever number you have there and it'll then open it up. And then I'll click confirm. You can also do this on Trust Wallet. It's a very similar flow. And it lets you know that the transaction has been submitted to the blockchain. You can easily click on your MetaMask or your Tau or your whatever extension, whatever Web3 provider you use. And so I can see here, boom, uh, all of these have been transferred over to me. And if I look over here, back at my synthetics, if I refresh this page, connect my wallet, this gives it access to view everything. And then I can click on my sense. And there I go. See, I have my uh, USD, I have my Euro, I have my Japanese Yen, I have my British Pound, and I have my Swiss Francs, all like I wanted them um, in the proportion that I asked for them. So that's pretty awesome. I just created a basket of, of cryptocurrency, kind of similar to Libra. That's awesome. Uh, then I can go over to this one, 80%, um, 8020. This is a really cool uh, asset. Um, I'm not giving any advice. And so 
for this particular package, I'll send in 0.1 Ethereum, click Convert, and then I will click Confirm. If you want to speed up the transaction for this one, you can just go to Speed Up Transaction or whichever Web3 provider you're using, you can usually replace the transaction if you'd like. Uh, but we do set a gas price that usually will get through pretty quickly. Uh, this is one of the more expensive. So depending on how many transactions that occur during one packaging, the more you're going to pay in Ethereum transaction fees to the Ethereum miners. So we don't take this fee. This just goes, this is just a process. And you'll see once this is confirmed just how many transactions are kind of happening for you. Um, this is all the stuff that you don't have to do. So what happened here? If I go to compound.finance, um, I could actually click over on DAI, and I'll see that I've supplied $6.90, and that um, my interest earned is TBD. So over time, I'll actually just start to um, earn more. If I want to add more and loan out more to get more interest, I can just enable DAI and then keep loading up. But this, the cool thing about this is you don't have to go through all those steps. You can just go directly through structured and I also have USDC coin. So I'm earning interest on this as well. So I have about $7 of that and about $7 of DAI. Uh, that is 80% of our portfolio. And then if I go over to Fulcrum, I can refresh the page here and I'll see my fulcrum positions as well uh, that were just entered into. If I click on manage positions. And there we go. I have one 2x BTC leveraged, one 2x Ethereum. So you can see that if Ethereum loses about half of its value, then uh, I will completely be out of my position. So I'll lose 10% of my portfolio if the price goes here and I'll lose the other 10% of my portfolio if Bitcoin goes to this price, right? So the most I can lose is 20% of my portfolio, um, and then I just have to wait for the interest here to kind of catch up. So that would take two to three years, um, and this portfolio would then continue to, to earn profit because these are just sitting in stable coins, um, whereas these are kind of you know levered up. But if, it, but if crypto does a little well, and if I think that's the case, then I'm actually gonna see quite a bit of an upside in, addic uh, in addition to my fixed income. So that's kind of that structure explained. So we're gonna have many more different kinds of structures. Um, we're looking forward to getting feedback. If you have an idea, please send it over to us. Uh, as I shared previously, we have the uh, Fulcrum ones. You can take a look at those. You can create those packages. That's in the other video, but it's just the same. Um, this will actually create a leverage position and a fixed income income position purely on Fulcrum. So if I go back over to Fulcrum, I can click on Lend. Um, and then if I use any of those other ones, I'll see my positions here very similar to Compound. So that's how that works. I hope you find this useful. This video will be posted down here so you can kind of watch and go through uh, the tutorial. So as we add more, the format might change of the website, but in general, we'll try to keep links to where you can actually check your balances. So if you know, we add a new platform, just when you go through and look at the details, just click over at any of the links and that'll kind of give you an idea of where you can actually see your balances. A general rule of thumb is that Etherscan usually stores a lot of the information. Now, we did buy a bunch of synthetics. Um, sometimes they won't see all of your tokens. So just be aware of that. Um, Etherscan doesn't pick up everything, especially there, there'll be a bunch of new things that come out. So you can't really rely on Etherscan to pick up everything, um, even though those your balances are there, uh, especially as NFCs and other things are added. So we'll keep posting resources in the description of this YouTube video as we add things, as well as tutorials and just information on the website. So this will probably out, be outdated pretty soon, but thus is the nature of decentralized finance. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Would love to hear your ideas and we'll keep creating structured DeFi apps.